this goes very well with rice, roti, chapati, naan or even with bread. It's perfect. So today's recipe is an eggplant tahi, also known as an eggplant achar, which is type of a pickle. This is a Sri Lankan uh, recipe. This goes very well with yellow rice, even normal white rice, chapati, bread and any type of roti as well. But this traditional recipe, I am making it my way, how I like it. So come, I'll show you how to make this eggplant tahi. So the ingredients you need to make this eggplant pahi are obviously eggplant. I have 500 grams of eggplant which I have cut into thin stripes like this because it will be easy to fry. Then you need mustard paste. There is about 1 tablespoon of mustard paste. Salt. Uh, half a tablespoon of dry red chilli flakes. 1 teaspoon of black pepper powder and this is my addition so there is a bit little uh, cinnamon about 4 cardamom and 4 cloves that I have sort of crushed you need sugar, sugar is according to your taste but I will be adding about 3 to 4 teaspoons this is about 150 grams of shallots there is about 6 to 7 green chilies I have slit the green chilies in the middle. The stalk is intact, so I just slit it in the middle like this to everything. So There's about six or seven curry leaves and rampe. This you don't need, but I'm adding it for the flavor. And of course, you need vinegar and coconut oil. First, we need to fry our eggplant. So for that, let's switch on the stove and add sufficient oil for deep frying this is coconut oil so the oil is heated up I'm going to add a few thunder leaves or rampe this is my version just to get the oil flavored you don't have to add this but I'm adding just to get the oil. The oil gets a good flavor when you add this. Now, let's add our eggplant in batches. You can fry the eggplant. If you have an air fry, if you have an air fryer, fry the eggplant in that. I don't. So I'm going to fry it the traditional old school method. You need to fry it till it becomes dark brown, dark golden brown, a good crisp. Fry it in batches. At this stage, we remove the eggplant from the oil. The eggplant should be at this color, so it's a bit dark golden brown and it has a good crisp to it. And then fry the rest of the eggplants in batches as well. So I fried all the eggplant. The best thing to do is to fry it one day before and then wrap it in uh, the kitchen towel and leave it. So it soaks all the oil out. Excess oil is soaked. So, or the other option is to use an air fryer. So now we need to fry our shallots, curry leaves and the green chilies. Same way. Once the oil heats up, this is just about a minute of frying. When the hot oil, add this for a minute and take it out. And this is also another minute. This is for about 30 seconds. That's it. To the heated oil, 
add the shallots now yeah take it out uh, just one minute of frying is enough now let's add the green chilies now time to take the green chilies out Let's add the curry leaves. Switch off the stove. Now to a small bowl and one tablespoon of mustard paste. about 3 teaspoons of sugar the cinnamon, cardamom and cloves about 1 teaspoon of black pepper powder half a tablespoon of red chili flakes and salt now let's add some vinegar about two tablespoons of vinegar Mix this well. So we've mixed everything. Just taste if the sugar and the salt is enough. Mm. If you want, can add a little more black pepper powder. This is according to your taste. You can add more or less. Now, set this aside to a large bowl, to a large bowl, add the fried curry leaves, green chilies and the shallots. Now, add the fried eggplant. Now it's time to add the dressing. Now mix it well. Add the rest of the dressing. Mix everything well. So our eggplant pahi is done. So now let's serve this to a serving dish. This goes very well with rice, roti, chapati, naan or even with bread. It's perfect. So our eggplant pahe is done. This is type of a pickle known as an achar and uh, it's better to eat it a day later because then the vinegar is sort of soaked into the eggplant and every, all the flavors are sort of enhanced then. And uh, as I said it goes very well with white rice, uh, yellow rice, the recipe is in the i-card. Mm, 
any type of roti, bread, perfect with chapatis as well. So try this way to make eggplant this way. This is also very tasty. So I hope you guys will try this out and let me know how you like it in the comment section below. So until I see you guys next time with yet another video, this is your week signing off.